Tonight, both Democrat and Republican parties choose their favorites for the primary elections. Both parties had their pre-primary conventions tonight, and the results have many surprised. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Gotti Schwartz breaks down tonight's big winners. Some call them the stage setters for the state's primary elections. And the Cinderella story of the night, contender for Governor Susanna Martinez, picking up 47% of delegates at today's Republican pre-primary convention. There's an, a lot of energy in the Republican Party, and it's because we have been faced with such terrible leadership in the last seven and a half years. Coming in second with another sure seat on the primary ballot, Alan Way. Well, we got 79 days to go. And so uh, we've been running a, a marathon pace. We're going to step it up to a 440 pace. The GOP winner going up against oh, Diane Dennish in November. I'm looking forward to the race. 234 days of very hard work ahead. The race to watch at the Democrat convention was for Lieutenant Governor. Former party chair Brian Colon sweeping up 34% of the vote. Our message, our energy, and our plan for the economy is what New Mexicans want. Lawrence Rael finishing second. We have a lot of support all over the state, and uh, I'm happy that uh, that support came out today. Republicans give their top lieutenant governor nod to Brian Moore with 41%. All the small communities, the rural counties, uh, we spent a lot of time in Albuquerque, but uh, I think we're getting good support from all over the state. Candidates who didn't get 20 20 percent of the vote tonight will have to gather thousands of signatures to get on the primary ballot or face being weeded out of the race. Gotti Schwartz, Eyewitness News 4. And we have full results from the pre-primary conventions on our website, kob.com.